Welcome back to another dog to another Dogger's Bend model railway review. Today we're looking at the Gen 1 Trainer Armour 44 class. The reason why I call this a Gen 1 is because currently I believe there is some sort of production run of the of the updated 44s coming out. I could be wrong, but if they do, I will probably will get get an, another one. Just because I've always liked the 44s, um, I have a memory from when I was a kid of seeing these running past my the back doorstep. Uh, please note on this one, um, this it, it's missing its two horns at each end. Mainly because um, it, um, it was get, getting repaired and something about a cat got into a shed and... Yeah, I'm not sure of the full story. Um, these locos were built from 1957 to 1967, so a 10-year production run. There were a hundred of these units built with a horsepower 1,800. They're based on the DL500B classification of locomotive. Um, from my knowledge, this is a Alco classification for um, a World Series diesel. Um, South Australia also had um, some of this classification that were one-ended diesels rather than two-end and also had the two-ended variation like we do. Um, withdrawal started from the late 1980s till 1997. As of this video, 10 have been preserved, 7 stored, 2 are up and 2 are operational. This, this particular 44, 4429, was on, last on, on the books um, the 5th of the 11th, 1987. So on to the review. Ooh, the box um, is a standard train armor box. Nothing flashy, but but yeah, it's it's alright. Uh, you have the you have your instructions about worm gear, how to, how to oil. Um, warranty parts, ha ha ha. Idle gear, um, how to oil your gears. Um, uh, parts list, Ex and a uh, exploded diagram. Which I really wish that people would bring out exploded diagrams. They're so much, they're so handy. So anyway, we won't do the Lakemo's weight today because I've left the scales in inside and it's dark. I don't. Feel like walking over the house and sealing them. So you pull them out, pull it out, and here she is. She's suspended in her traveling cradle. I have free this free this type of locomotive all up. All of them have suffered from the dreaded cracked axles or cracked gears. Kind of a shame. These were some of my most reliable diesels until until the cracked gears showed up. So all three are being currently being fixed. So anyway, you open it like that. <clears throat> no, sorry, I've got something in my throat. And here she is, forty-four twenty-nine. Um, you do have a operating headlight, though apparently it's it's wrong wrong for the new for New South Wales forty-fours because it's a single LED single light bulb which should be two two individual bulbs rather than one. You have sprung sprung buffer buffer diaphragm, a KD compatible knuckle coupler, which I'm pretty sure that's not standard on the model when you get it. I've replaced that with a KD number five at some stage. Um you have separately applied wind wind windscreen wipers and handrails all along the front of the locomotive. You don't have um marker lights but again they can be added if you have, if you um, a game. You, apparently, I heard you can drill through there and put in um, really small LEDs. The next gen, I believe, will have them. You have see-through grates, metal handrails all along the locomotive, a staff exchange, a beautiful New South Wales emblem. Um, this is what I think this is what's called uh, Indian red, or maybe it's austerity. Uh, 
Now, at, at the BCAB, you do have controls in two, two more, dri a, another driver and crewman. Another sprung buffer, buffer diaphragm, separately applied air hoses and MU cables. Separately applied window, window wipers. Um, it should have uh, horns here, but I've got to replace them. Seafree metal grates. Separately applied fuel, detail and fuel tank. Separately applied win, uh, revision mirrors. On the under, underbody of the detail, on the underbody of the locomotive, you don't have much detail. Um, from the top of my head, when these were released, they they retailed. I think I got, I got some for like, two fifty. Others I got, f I think one I got for three hundred. A couple for two fifty. So I'm not sure. I have to look look at my my um receipts. But this one has had a full replacement of, of wheels. The funny story about uh, that, even if. Uh, you have a train armor 44 unless you can prove you got it from Bob's Hobbies. They will not give you this, the replacement wheels. Otherwise, you've got to buy them like I did. I think they're like uh, $12 a wheel. Which, when you think about it, is really a ripoff. Because they've made the model, they should have. For every model that's failed, they should replace the gears. Well, anyway, that, that, that's my um, 10 cents on the matter. But yeah, she's a lovely model. Uh, she's quite powerful. Or and quite a good looking model. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe.